channel. Welcome back to this vlog. I am currently at Shinzu uh, HSR, the Gautier, the high speed rail station. I guess it's a long weekend this weekend, so there's no work on Monday, so a lot of people are traveling, which explains why I couldn't get a morning ticket. But I'm going down to Jai to see my friend because it's literally been months since I saw her and I really miss her. So let's go to Jai. So the brunch spot that we came to in English, it's called small plates, but in Chinese you said it's xiao pan zi. Xiao pan zi. Xiao pan zi. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like you said a brunch breakfast place? Yeah. I'm hungry. It's like two. I think uh, pretty good. I mean the amount is very decent. Perfect. I'm, I'm beginning to wait in Taiwan and it's, I have people on Instagram message me like, why gaining weight? Is it like coronavirus weight? Is it like staying home all the time? But I'm like, no. It's, no. it's just Taiwan going it's out too much. Yeah, you know. Okay, it's Taiwan weight. It's called food is amazingly big and cheap and delicious weight. That's right. A lot of this menu is in Chinese, but I always find a place on Instagram if there's no English and if I don't translate properly. I would literally just choose a dish from here because that's how I roll. I got the American big breakfast plate. Got a massive sausage here. Looks like I got some cauliflower. I don't know what's this. It almost looks like hummus, but it's not potato. I think it's egg. Oh, egg. Scramble oh, okay. Egg. Oh, that one looks good too. And French toast and some salad. Yum. That one looks good too. That's like the. It almost looks like karage, the fried chicken, but just with tartar sauce. Yeah. all the lanterns over there. I wonder if it's because yesterday was the lantern festival. So yesterday on Instagram I bought the little tang yun, I think that's what it is, the little mochi, well not mochi but they're rice balls. They're sticky, kind of like mochi with filling inside and I ate them on Instagram and it's because of the lantern festival. It's something that people eat here. Usually like there's more things going on, like my city Shinzu is supposed to host a lantern festival thing that rotates every year but because of COVID it got cancelled which I mean I understand. Night right, market. Okay. We've what come to the car for night market. Is this, you know the shopping mall. Where is it? Uh, behind us? Over there. Yeah. So it's convenient people just call it like that because it's next right next to the shopping mall. Fun. Pork fried rice. It looks very hot. How much was this? 80? 80 NT? Portion size is huge. Like the size of my face. And it was 80 NT. Let's try. You burn. So hot. Delicious. But very hot. If I had to choose one thing for everyone to experience in Taiwan at least once, it would be exploring and eating at a night market. I think you can tell a lot about the city you're in by visiting a night market because, I mean, most of the stalls are ran by locals, as well as many of the people shopping around, like you, probably are from the area as well. You can eat famous foods in the area, go shopping for new clothing, buy new toys, and play some games. It's also a great way to have fun. Eat great food and not spend a lot of money. I also feel like you could spend hours in a night market and still feel like you want to see more and more. 
Every city in Taiwan has some kind of night market. Even areas within the cities have their own night markets, which could slightly be different from another area. Definitely, if you ever visit Taiwan, please go to a night market. Naturally, I got watermelon juice. It's my jam. I cannot go to a night market and not get watermelon juice. God, I always get so red after a shower. Anyway, um, had a really good day. I just like caught up with Lily the whole time. I called T and I checked in on Hope and made sure all the medicine was taken. Because it's Saturday, Yashahime came out, so of course I'm gonna watch that on YouTube and then go to bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for our day in Jai. Good morning, I washed my face, got ready. Everyone's still sleeping, so I quietly went downstairs and got some coffee. I was just chatting to tea about the cat this morning because I want to make sure that he's doing okay. And he said that the wheezing is not so bad now, so that's nice. I had a very quiet morning. Usually I'm so used to the cat meowing for me to wake up at like 6 a.m. to feed him. It was quite peaceful this morning, but I still woke up early anyway. All ready now, and I'm wearing a dress today. Rare. At least I have like shorts and a bodysuit underneath in case it gets windy but it's gonna be 30 degrees today in Jai. It's a lot warmer down here because Jai is actually south of Taiwan. It's not like the most south but it's considered southern Taiwan. We have quite a few things on the menu today so let's get started. Stop number one. We're going to go to a little antique store that's run by a family. It's like in their home. I'm gonna put a mask on now though. <laughs> I almost lost it. Is it? I love that wooden little fixture. Fixture? I don't know. The circle must have a name, but <gasps> the chests are pretty too. They have some old cameras here. Ooh. I love this little like carrier. The whole wooden fixture. The kitchen is just so pretty. The fact that these phones are in an antique store makes me feel very old. I bought a cute little persimmon. Kaki. What is this in Chinese? Shizu. Shizu. Oh really? This is the farm though, right? Is the farm yeah. called Duja Yeah. It's like people. Oh. Okay, the spider doesn't look that big, but actually it's quite big. We're gonna go see some snakes. Mom, if you're watching, skip ahead. Now if that flew at me, I would have a panic attack. Oh my god, these ones have such long legs. No, oh my god, no. It's furry. We stopped at a little flower market. Is this a flower market? Yeah. In Jai, and oh my god, everything's so cute. I might buy a vase and bring it home. I got some goods, show you when I get home. From the little flower market place, we came to Showtime. Uh, which is like a department store. You take your temperature before you even enter, even through the car, the parking. And we're gonna eat a famous burger in Jai. What is it called? Tefrin. We're gonna eat a Tefrin. I think I'm gonna get the bacon mushroom burger. 
Oh, but there's a chili fire burger. Ooh. Well, they have mushroom chips. Interesting. When you wear short pants here, you get a discount or will your fries get upgraded. So I have short pants on under my dress, which means I got a discount because I gave a little flashy flash. So, yeah. Those are the small fries over there. And these are the big ones. I have to say the food at Tefren, the burger was really good, really juicy, kind of like it was made fresh. I got regular french fries, they were just so-so, but apparently the sweet potato fries are famous there. HSR station, gonna head back home to Shinshu. I think I'm gonna get subway too on the way home because in Shinshu station there's a subway. Did you miss me, Bambi? Hi! Came right out when he heard me, he was sleeping. Hey guys, it's Thursday here for me and I've been back from Jai for a little bit and it was so good to see Leela. I haven't seen her in a long time. And as for today, I have a doctor's appointment that I'm going to. I don't know if I'm gonna share yet or not. We'll see in the future what's gonna happen. Um, so after that, I'm going to a cafe here, just kind of close to Big City that a friend of mine invited me to and it looks very, very delicious. I'm gonna bring you guys to there. Always waits for me right there. Hi, Bambi. So, as I said in the Uber, I got a few cakes from 100 Tastes. I got a strawberry chocolate tart with a uh, Mont Blanc on top. My husband loves that kind of little noodly thing on top. It's not noodles, but it's the way the icing looks. I also got a pecan chocolate salty caramel, and then I got a rare cheese tart with just some strawberry and blueberries on top, as well as I got a green grapes rare cheese tart, which looks amazing, like so many grapes on it. I just wanna pop on here and share with everyone what I got in Jai, because I forgot. I bought this beautiful green vase, as well as another little decor vase. I'm using that to put my keys inside. Also, I got the persimmon that I showed. Apparently, persimmons are a lucky fruit. I have it written here. It has to do with the saying, shi shi yi, shi shi yi. Lila's husband told me that it generally means, you know, hope for everything to go smoothly or, you know, follow your wish. Yeah, it has to do with the word for persimmon. So the word for persimmon is shi zi. And, um, you know, the shi from shi zi sounds like shi shi yi. So, yeah has to do with that. I really like the idea of going to a vintage shop. I like the idea of someone's unwanted goods can become something for somebody else. Kind of like the sayings, um, one man's trash is another person's treasure kind of thing. So I don't know, I really enjoy the vintage shop. Anyways, thank you for watching me explore around Jai once again. If you like my videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, support me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!